Hello everybody, my name is Paul Tace. In this video, we're going to talk about my favourite feature on the Mavic Air 2, and that is the spotlight mode. Let's get started. Okay, so as I said in the intro, we're going to be looking at spotlight mode. Now I'm going to tell you why I love this so much, I'm going to show you how to use it, I'm going to show you where it works, and where it starts to break down. Now Spotlight is basically like Active Track, but the difference is, instead of you following the object, you're going to be moving the drone around the object. When it does this, it will automatically adjust the yaw and the gimbal movements to make sure you get the smooth footage exactly what you want, with the minimum effort, with whatever objects you want focused exactly where you want it to be. Now the reason I love this so much is I tried shooting uh, this clip here with my Mavic Mini, and as you can see, uh, every now and then I move a bit fast or the gimbal movement's not perfect, and it just makes the footage look that little bit less professional. And now this shot also took me six tries with the Mini. And when I took this shot with the Mavic Air 2, this was my first attempt. We can see the gimbal movement is very smooth. I can also put some height on there as well. And I just don't have to worry about the smoothness of the gimbal or the yaw at all. And as I keep talking about the yaw, I just want to emphasize the fact that this is the rotation of the drone and the direction the nose is facing. So using uh, this camel clip as an example, I'm actually only pushing the drone to the side, but it's automatically adjusting the yaw to make sure it's facing towards the camel at all times. Now to use the spotlight mode, all you need to do is use your finger to draw a box around uh, whatever your target is, and then uh, you can close that animation and then select the spotlight icon in the middle and bottom of the screen. And then you can just start recording. And now as you move your drone around, it will be locked on whatever item you've selected. Now all I'm doing here is pressing left on the right hand stick and this is going to make me orbit. I can also push forwards to get closer to the camel and as I do this the gimbal will automatically angle downwards to make sure the camel is still in the centre of the shot. Now you can also move the uh, drone up and down and the gimbal is still tracked in the right place. Now something I did find with this is if you select something directly beneath you it's hard for the Mavic Air 2 to work out exactly what it's following. So what it does is it will lose the little box and instead you'll have this little location icon appear and instead of following an object it will follow that geographical point. And there was another time where I wasn't quite sure why I had lost the object uh, but when something's stationary this doesn't really matter. But what I did find is uh, when I was uh, tracking the boat I did actually get a little boat icon come up on the screen and it tended to stay there. Now I believe it recognised that this was a boat and uh, if it had been moving I'm pretty sure it would have followed it. However in this instance because the tide was out I couldn't actually put this to the test. Now one final word of warning is just to remember that the Mavic Air 2 does not have side sensors and in the few months I've had this drone the only time I've crashed it is when using spotlight mode and not realising there's something to the side. So if you hit something to your side that's on you. So the biggest reason for me to upgrade from a Mini or a Mini 2 to the Mavic Air 2 would be for the spotlight feature and other features like this. So if you've upgraded from a Mavic Mini or a Mini 2, let me know what the best features for you are. Um, that's it for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.